Hi, this is DarkFox127, and welcome to another Corinthia Tower Reborn live stream. Uh, today, we are probably going to be doing all sorts, but there's uh, one main thing that has changed since the last live stream, which is the Mage Quarters. I pretty much ripped a half of it apart and started again. Uh, if my throat's a bit funny, or my throat actually starts to go, I might have to end the stream, but hopefully not, or I'll just take a short break in an hour or so. Uh, but we should be good to go So yes, I've got a brand new intro. I've also got an outro for the end of the stream And I've redone the intro and outro for my upcoming tutorials and channel updates So I decided to, to sort of try and freshen things up get things all Brand spanking new and uh, a little more professional. So if uh, people want to leave me sort of feedback on that That's great But we are going to try and head to the apex but first I'm going to load load up the dorms because I've been having an issue where for some deranged reason the creation kit wants to crash if I try and load the apex first sometimes and I'm not sure why so yes to all there yes to all I have a theory but hopefully it will just load um, the, tends to happen when I come back to the cell or try and refresh it. If I hit F5 now the creation kit will probably most likely crash. Um, I'm not sure if that's a flicker yet because I've been changing the lighting so I'm not sure if there's a flicker there. Uh, as you can see the portal that was in the center has been wiped out and those special containers that's probably the only thing I, I regret losing there is those nice containers but I felt it was just a very weird shape. It didn't make a lot of sense. It just seemed very closed in and there wasn't a lot of room. Excuse me a moment. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to carry on talking. Hopefully no one can hear that too much. Uh, it's just amazing. You'll have, like, no noise for a whole hour and then bang. Everyone wants to look about in the hallway. But anyway, yeah, I just felt like it was very closed in and I wanted it a bit more open plan and it didn't feel very epic. And I felt like the light source being very high up here didn't make a lot of sense for lighting everything down here. So it just made more sense with the, the whole lighting. So a bit more open and I also had to do some very funky stuff here because this architecture tends to go around with a big gap and waste about half the floor space up to about here as you can see there's a, th a seam which I've got to try and hide somehow but I'll just show you there's actually nothing there no flooring so I've had to sort of build up flooring and make it look like it's it's actually part of the architecture and if you look at the bottom it looks quite good from the bottom actually it, it looks pretty normal and I had to do a bit of creative stuff and then I've just moved the wardrobes, got rid of one of the wardrobes because I felt like they, everything just looked like it was in the middle of nowhere, it didn't make any sense. I got some dividers, put the bed over here, it's got more of a, like a pedestal because you are meant to be the, the arc mage of this place in, in a sense. So you're meant to be the boss, you're, you're not supposed to have the average crappy bed on the floor, it, it, it's got to stand out a little. So. That's up there. I thought the desk was pretty lame. I mean, the design of the table that I made is great, and I've used that in other areas. Uh, but the, the desk needed to be bigger. It needed to be more suitable for an arc mage. So I've redone the desk. I've tried to build it into the wall, and I've moved the Corinthia Tower painting up here, which I think looks a lot better than it being over the bed. That's just going to be like covered in different drapes and such, uh, which I've still got to put in. So I think that looks a lot better. I'll be interested in knowing what everyone else thinks. I'm not going to change it back, so... But it's just interesting. I also found a new resource with some display cases, but the textures were custom and they didn't look like part of the game. So I had to do some uh, UV map editing and I had to change the display cases and put my own fabrics in. So we've got new display cases to fill up, which is awesome and that, that gives some purpose to the top up here. I've had to take the glass off the display cases because I noticed that for some reason they looked a bit too dull through the glass and brightening up the lighting in the room just went a bit overkill so 
But I think we'll head in game in a moment and test some of the new setup and see how it goes. Uh, we'll load up the game and uh, take a little look around because I haven't fully run round yet up the top section and tested it. And I'll, I'll just link up the drapes first. But uh, check the Twitch chat. Uh, CK is possessed by an ancient demon. <laughs> um. Messed up, uh, messed up NIF that usually cause it. Yeah, the the thing that I thought it might be because it seemed to happen after I put wardrobe stuff is is my custom wardrobe NIFs. But I've not any any um, yeah had any problems with the the setup before, and I took them out. Well, I didn't actually. I haven't took them out and tried it, but it would mean it balls it up. But if I continue having the problem and it, it causes issues in game, I'll have to change it. Let's go and move which guy. Well, uh, inside of your game. <laughs> um, yeah, it's player. On Steam Workshop, there's some news regarding that. If the Steam Workshop is going to be reliable now with the updates, I am willing to try releasing a couple of mods. I was going to put Frost Mammoths on there and. A Riverside Shack next week. That's what I was planning on doing. Put those two on there and see how that goes. If it pisses me off and things don't upload, I am not going to put anything on the Steam Workshop. If it goes smoothly, I'll actually consider releasing Corinthia Tower on the Steam Workshop. That would be a nice idea. Upload. Yeah. Basically, it, it might go on the workshop. It depends how reliable it is running through the Steam client now. I should imagine it's much better. If anything good's come of these updates, it should be that the uh, the modding through the workshop should be better. Although, personally, I still think that your best bet is the Nexus. But not everyone likes it, so... Yeah, so what I want to do is get these drapes sorted, because... You might have noticed I deleted the, the small drapes that go on the edges here. They didn't make sense going on the pillars. They looked stupid. It looked like overkill and it was a complete mess. So I've got rid of those and I've just put like smaller curtains for these windows. I thought that looked a lot better. And I've tried to clutter. I've actually tried to clutter nicely and I don't think I've done a bad job. So yeah. I need to select both these and start duplicating them and linking them up. And then we can go in game and actually test that out. So I'm not sure if these are the. Yeah, those are the drapes. So in this case, this needs to be linked to the blue. <clears throat> now I need to duplicate them and replace them with black. Use the batch menu again and go with black. Do that. Just keep doing it for all of them. That should do it. Now what I've also um, what I've also done is even though I've set up a lot of the crafting stuff, I want to be able to go in at the minute and just test things out. So I'm making sure everything or most things are just initially enabled, so I can go in and see stuff. So I'm going to do that. Because I also need to just see what the performance is like now that I'm pretty much coming very close to the sell limit. That's another reason why I think it might be crashing if you load this first or try and refresh is because there's a lot to load and there's a lot of custom stuff. Which is also why I think Mershkum got a problem eventually. But I'm not actually planning to go anything crazy like I did with Mershkum. This is far simpler in comparison. 
at the moment. So, um, another thing I need to test as well. I've actually uh, the last stream I did the outfit setup, so people's outfits changed when they went to do other things like work or chill out. Their outfit changed appropriately. Uh, now the um, I actually forgot to try and set up the outfits for the wardrobe. So the wardrobe, sh the wardrobe should change as well. So when they put an outfit on, it should disappear from their wardrobe, and it should be on them, which will be awesome. I do apologise for any sound in the background. People just basically pissing about. Uh, so. What was I doing? I just need to enable this. Uh, grass initially enable. And all the plants. Because I haven't actually set anything up. I wanted to do like a, a seed planting thing for that, didn't I? Uh, anything else that needs enabling? Uh, planters. Alchemy lab. My voice has actually been fine most of the day, but I think doing that channel update and a lot of other stuff, I might have worn it out a bit for the, <laughs> the Twitch stream. And that was an email. <laughs> when do you think the tower will be finished? Watch my channel update. <clears throat> I've kind of addressed that. I've been asked that so much now because people are seeing how full it is and it's like, oh no, it's going to be finished. It's like, no, not yet. Um, is it possible to... Oh, I've already read that. Uh, it should be fine, Sim Sim. There shouldn't be a problem, but it... I'm, I can't confirm it's those meshes at the minute. I might do it later on when the tower's... Or this area is pretty much done and what I'll do I'll save it back it up somewhere and then just delete the meshes out even though it fucks up all the scripts and then I'll see how it reacts loading up in the creation kit and if it ends up being that those are the problem I'll send them over that's what I mean it's only in this cell and they're not I've checked them over they're not set up any different to the ones that are in the dorms and the dorms are fine I think it is just a weird loading issue as long as it's not affecting in game which at the minute it doesn't seem to be that there shouldn't be a problem at all as for the centerpiece here I need to do something with this because it's a bit too plain I do know that um, but yeah so I'll set that up uh, I think we'll go in game and see how things go Take a look. Yep, that seemed to work a treat actually. The uh, changing over, so let's head in. To the apex yeah my controller's just got to be on the other side of the room hasn't it now I'd use mouse and keyboard just for this but if a controller's actually plugged in in any shape form or fashion Skyrim just doesn't like the mouse and keyboard anymore so what I'll do I'll just let that mess around and update the menus Okay. Let's take a look around, see what's what. Any bit of stuttering won't actually be on the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the uh, mod performance side. It's just the EMB. It depends on the sort of juddering and stuttering. And I've actually got to optimize 
which might be worth um, taking a look at now actually plus you've got to take into account that the uh, the creation kit's loaded so looking around I think this looks way way better I think it's much more fitting for a mage it's more mage like it's more magical I think it's quite nice I've actually done the nav mesh for these buggers as well so these shouldn't go wondering about but yeah it's I don't think it is these I think whenever there's a problem with a mesh it tends to just crash but so I've got the bed covers here on the side in the actual wardrobe which is a good place for it so that's gold there and there's the uh, the new desk and such although the chair might be a bit funky at the moment and it's crashed wonderful absolutely wonderful well I kinda guarantee just like um, in the pre-show that the creation kit's gonna crash I didn't expect the game to do it I wonder if that's the chair I'm not gonna try and sit on the chair again because um, that is actually a custom model I might have ball something up on that because it's um, can't be a coincidence that it's when I activate a certain item that it crashes so I could probably just make that static and put an invisible seat on that would probably be the best thing to do so I think we'll try that again shall we and um, we'll try the uh, drapes and such if this even loads it's just windows not knowing what window is being selected <laughs> so I'll be interested in knowing what people think the new overlay if there's any improvements you think I can make I mean the overlay on the game and such is pretty basic at the moment I didn't want to really clutter the screen up with too much Yeah, she's going to take a while. This is why I actually want to upgrade my processor. I'm looking on doing that very soon for all this kind of stuff. And then eventually the GPU a little. Right. Yeah, there's some other stuff disabled. I'm not sure if it's meant to be. Uh, the banners I've got to sort as well. Because they're pretty much placed where I want them to be now. Uh, there's another image of the, the tower there that needs to be swapped out. So if we change these here, this should do the drapes. Let's check those are okay. Yep, that all seems okay. Then we got displays which you can see through, that's the other displays there, I've got to set those up. Uh, here we go. <coughs> Some more work for you Sim Sim. Some bloody collision thing where there's a button supposed to be there. I've gnawed the texture but I thought the collision might still be there. That's a bit of a pain. <laughs> Um, jeez. And I had a weird collision thing here, and it's still there. And I don't know what that is. I've got to figure out what the hell that is. I have a feeling. No, I don't. No, it isn't actually. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is. I'm gonna have to go in the kit. That's weird. Can't go out there yet. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so that works. I'm gonna 
come out of the game now. So. As long as I don't sit on the chair, it looks like I'm okay. So we've got a couple of weird things up, phantom mesh or whatever you want to call it. Four. Does that? So apparently there's something here. Not sure what the hell it's meant to be. So I've got a little link going on here somewhere. That might help. That will definitely help. Ah, it's this flooring, okay. So that's what that is. Oh, that is a pain. So that's actually circular, but it it isn't. Oh god. That's mad. I'm going to check this in, it's just going to keep bringing at me. New contact form. <clears throat> check the chat. Uh, what EMB am I using? It's a good question. <clears throat> Let me think. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I have actually forgotten. It's not Project EMB. No, honestly, I have no idea what EMB I'm now using. I have completely forgotten. Um, but I could find out eventually. I've been swapping them out and I don't actually know what I settled for at the moment. Uh, no, it's Seasons of Skyrim. That's it. Uh, seems like it might be a bit of... An insect invent. Yes, I've I've got to sort out the amount of uh, sort of insects in the alchemy lab. You also, make mods. Uh, I'll add a couple of people it's like if people are actually going to talk to me then that that's okay you know if you actually want to communicate help each other and stuff like that um, but if people are going to like get added on my friends list and not do an awful lot I usually don't add too many So we know what that collision issue is, and apparently we've got a very um, nasty chip. Don't know why that is. And the other stuff seems to work. We've got the insects sorted out there. Uh, so what I was going to do, I was going to do some optimization. It's something I've never really showed much of, and honestly, it's something I'm never 100% sure makes that much of a difference. So here we go. I'm tapping one to make things disappear and I just seem to be picking up background effects. Well, I was worried that it was like the portal causing a mesh issue, but luckily it's something that can be fixed, I think. So, I'm going to hide these and we are going to take a look at performance. So as you can see, this is sort of how I've blagged the flooring across here. Which is interesting, because there's now double the amount of flooring there, and there bloody well shouldn't be. That can probably go. Yep. And then there's all these. 
I'm just going to hide anything that's not essential and is in the way. Which was most of the stuff there. Um, I'm going to hide all that. If you're wondering about those dividers with the clothes hanging over, I, I've had to sort of put two of Insanity's meshes together, or three or four of them. I took his clothing um, cleaning stuff and put it together with the, the dividers to make custom meshes to put that stuff together. Um, right then, I think we're best having the lights off there. Get rid of that out of the way. Let's see what we can do. Uh, there are two... I suppose, yes. There are two forms of performance that you can do. The first is room bounds, which I'm not going into because I don't like them. They personally don't work for me, and they are much more hassle than they are worth, especially, on, especially if I'm not working with like a large dungeon that would probably need it. Um... The other option is to use occlusion planes, which are, if anyone's ever played around with the old Far Cry editors, map editors, and, and seen like what were called occlusion blocks, they're like big blocks or sort of thin walls that when you're looking at them, it won't load anything behind them. So it's like just putting a, a barrier so it doesn't load anything past the wall you're looking at, the barrier that you're looking at. So the idea is that when I'm on this bottom floor here and I look up, it's not going to load anything past the barrier that I'm going to put across the floor. So it's not going to load anything up here when I'm down here looking up. Because if I'm down here looking up, I've got all these effects loading, all this stuff loading, and it's also trying to look at this lot, and that's where it can probably get laggy. Now, room bounds would work in a way of having two or more boxes and you link the boxes together with a doorway and that doorway is the only visual view from one box to see stuff in the other one. So you'd have a box here and then there'd be a box for the bottom half and when you're in box one, box two doesn't load. When you're in box two, the stuff in box one and every other box doesn't load. So you've only got items loading in sort of the bound or box that you are currently sat in and when you're in this box because nothing loads in box two when you're crossing over the path where you'll be crossing over or looking from one to another which would be this big gap here this is where you put what's called a portal where you can actually see straight through so when you're looking through this portal it will load stuff in that box so you can see it all if that makes sense uh, i will do a tutorial video on that even though i hate the subject and it's probably going to take a day to re-research it and kind of get it work into a state I can show it um, but I'm not going to do it in this one I'm going to do the easier and more applicable option which is like the occlusion planes so very much like when you're adding a collision box when you've got something selected it's going to put the box around it so I'm going to select the biggest thing which is the the big floor spacer here and I'm going to click on the O here O in a box I'm just going to click there it'll either put it around it or You'll have to click somewhere and it'll put it there. Now they're white, so actually turn the lighting off is helping here. And then I'm going to rotate this. Not that way. Find out which way to rotate it. Not that way. There we go. Now it's a bit awkward because it's a circle. So I'm going to see what I can do here. If I can't cover the whole floor, I'll just cover as much of it as I can. Again, I apologise for my voice. I've had a cold and I think I've pushed my voice a bit too much today. So, And I've got to figure out the axes. Rotating. So I'm going to put it about there. Now the way these things work as well, which I should mention, is if I leave it there and I'm standing on top of it, looking down, it's not going to load the floor. This needs to go in between the flooring, in the middle of the flooring. So if it's caught in the middle of the floor, it should load the thing that it's caught in the middle in, if that makes sense. 
So if it was under the floor, you wouldn't see the floor. If it's on top of the floor, you won't see the floor. It needs to be in the middle of the floor. So I'd need to lower it down and have it sort of embedded inside of it. <clears throat> so it doesn't hide the actual flooring itself or any items sat on it. So I'm going to just stretch this across. Figure out where I want to go up to. About there should be fine. And as you can see, if I extend it out even more, I'm going to be going over the gap where you need to be able to see through. So I can't go any further with this one. So I'm just going to just finish sizing this one up. Now I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll lower it down afterwards. So I can just see my layout. And I'll probably try and rotate this one a little. It's just overdoing it. it can be quite fiddly, quite picky. So you've got to bear with it. And I'll put it on an angle. And just get as most of the floors I can. Now, <clears throat> what I could do if I just wanted to do the centre... I could sort of crisscross them over each other in rectangles and manage to sort of star shape cover the whole floor and that's how I did the old tower but because of the funny shape and the fact I've extended this floor this is probably the best way to cover as much of it as I can so it's probably the best way and I want this to go up to this one don't I about there should be okay they should be okay overlapping each other. And you may or you may not see a performance increase. You should do, technically. It should help, anyway. Put that there. Now, I'll, I'll say that it kind of doesn't load anything. It They do load in the game, so things should still be loaded, but they just won't be visible, as I understand it. So I'm just going to low. Oh, thought I had them both selected. Obviously not. There we go. I'm just going to lower them down. Oh, I love that. It won't let me lower them both. Okay, fair enough. Just going to go down two notches. Let's me do that. And that'll have to do. And hopefully that'll be okay. Ah, now looking at this, that won't be okay. I need to make sure that that roof can be seen, so. I'm going to have to try and find a kind of sweet spot here. So it's between this floor and there. So just past this flooring. There we go. And that should load everything then. And we'll have to check that over. Hmm. A haunted chair and haunted floor. Yeah. The floor needs fixing. It's like circular floor, but I think Bethesda got lazy and just put a square collision over it because it probably suited for where they used it. Or it might be to do with what I stole the flooring off. I think I deleted a bit that was attached to the floor. That might be why. So either I've deleted something or Bethesda got lazy. Or both. Um learning some new things <laughs> yeah occlusion planes are really really useful I used them in Riverside Shack they were very much needed in Riverside Shack because there's a load of items in there and when you looked over at the house if it was loading everything in there it just lagged and it still does nowhere near as much I put occlusion walls in between every single wall and even in the ceiling so when you're inside the house it technically wasn't loading a lot of what was outside 
which was cool. So now I should be able to just show all. Save that. Hopefully that all works fine. There's not going to be many places I actually need occlusion, but it'll help. So the other room should be okay, mostly. Um, the dorms, I've got to show you the whole closed thing. So that'll be interesting. Forge. It is actually coming together quite, quite nicely. It's not. It doesn't appear to be that much design-wise, but I think uh, I was going to add a, a vault as a DLC, but I think I'm going to put it in from the start instead. I think it could be quite useful. I've already set the portals up, open, ready to just add a vault in, so the portal system's all ready to go for it. Um, this needed changing the red, so I could do that. Now the lobby I wanted to do something different, but I don't know what yet. So, have a think. I think we'll go in and we'll um, we'll test that collision out. See, I wouldn't have to rely on um, on your SimSim Sim if the software bloody installed properly. It's like because I don't know, I must have had a wrong version or something for like doing collision, and it just dicks me around every time. It's like I'm always missing a menu or something that I need. It's it's ridiculous. I've tried installing um, 3D Max. I think it is like two, three times, and it's always a mess. It's not having any of it. So that's why I can't do collision. It's not that I can't do it. Well, I can't because I haven't learnt it. But there's no point in learning it when uh, half the damn software doesn't want to work for some reason. Otherwise, I'd um, I'd do it myself. Um, Apex. If this has worked. It's all good. If it hasn't worked, we're probably going to see some funky stuff. Oh, I've never tried that program actually, I don't know of it. Whenever I've researched on the internet the only thing people are on about is like load it into 3D Max and then do collision and then bugger it off out. I need to watch your um, Twitch stream on it actually, if it's still up. And I can probably learn how to do it. There we go. You cannot see because it is loading. Uh, that's what I do now. I put that extra screen on for when the creation gets loading. Uh, game's loading. So at the moment, as you can see, it actually seems to work. And if I'm looking at the floor and I'm looking around, we don't seem to have any lag at all. It's pretty smooth. The only juttering is from the, the bloody EMV issues, whatever that is. If we go down, hopefully we don't see anything odd. We've got a bloody collision again, which I need to get past. There we go. Well, we've got no flickering, we've got no floor missing, so I think the occlusion's worked. As you can see, I'm looking up at the scene and I've got no issues there. That, that runs really smooth. And there's only a little area that we haven't managed to cover. The one thing I did notice is these mannequins scare the shit out of you, because this is weird. It's like you've got these spooky dudes. Nasty. So that's wonderful, and look what I've moved. Oh, God. I wondered where that went. 
club back in the middle. So. Wow, what will we do? What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for the alchemy lady to show up. If she ever shows up. Which she ought to. Th there is a thing with these NPCs where they don't go to work on time. Very odd. There we go. So she's now changed to her work outfit. So if we go into the dorms, uh, which I am probably going to have to cheat to get into because it's not all set up right yet. So we go into the dorms. Uh, the, I'm going to tell you about the wardrobes as well. Uh, the alchemist will be this one. Now, as you can see, they're locked. What this is, is the scripting was going to be very difficult to have the enabling of the NPCs checked to have the enabling and disabling of the clothes. So the easiest thing for me to do was to have the wardrobes there and locked. So what happens is the wardrobes are unlocked when you hire a new recruit. So when you hire the alchemist, her wardrobe will become unlocked. So what it is, is the clothes are all already in there, but it's meant to give the illusion that they're not moved in, they don't have anything. So that's why they're locked, if that makes sense. It just made it a hell of a lot easier on scripting. And people shouldn't be cheating and unlocking them anyway. But as you can see, her work clothes are not there, her chill clothes are, and her arm is hanging up. So if we wait around until it's time to chill out and they're not at work you'll see the clothes should change now I haven't tested this so I'm not sure how much of it's going to work yeah we've got a bit of funkiness going on but Speak quickly. that's just nav mesh bugging out which isn't finished I hate that bug. She's got a close on there. So there's just an issue with it enabling sort of thing. So I'm just going to see what happens now. Wait around a bit more. Keep waiting around. So what should be happening is when their package changes or you come back in here after you leave. It should update the wardrobes. This is something I have not tried before. I think the outfits are working like a treat but it's probably something I've just got slightly wrong with the um, with the script itself. So. Yeah, I think what it is is the the packages aren't set up doing it right the packages should be doing it if I actually do this in the um, using the script that fires off every time you enter the cell so if I wait until they're in their chill hour I think the only thing that's not running is it isn't enabling clothes so it's disabling what they're wearing it's not putting the other clothes back so if I go out and then back in here again I should be good to go Now they're lagging up. Now that could be because of the clothes issue or it could just be a general nav mesh bug. I'm not sure which yet. Clothes um, were working fine last time. I think this is just having a weird bug out. But what I want to do is test these clothing items. Yeah, that's not quite working. No matter. I think it might be checking the times wrong as well.
Yeah, that's weird. I'll have to check that over. But the wardrobe clothes um, should eventually be changing and stuff. Yeah, this is usually associated with a nav mesh thing where it just bugs them out for some reason. No matter. So. That was interesting. Uh, but that kind of works, which is good. <coughs> The wardrobe thing's broken, so I'm just going to check that over. And it's not working for anything. Let's just take a look at that. Let's go edit the base, that's easiest. So all the properties are filled, so that's not the problem. Outfits and wardrobe. Uh, if the wardrobe is enabled, now that's fine. This is the actual outfits. That's outfit changes. That's the wardrobe. And then there was enabling clothing. And this is it here. Slots. If the wardrobe is enabled. That's interesting. Uh, slots of the player. Oh no, this, this one is for the... The player's wardrobe. The clothing items will change depending on your sex and what kind of quest items you've done. But there should also be one bit in here that sorts out the wardrobes. I'm not sure if I've written it up yet. Should be checking the time over. I think I added it in. So it should be with the outfits. So it's between the hours of 9 and 6 then it disables their work clothes because they're wearing them and disables their chill outfits but as you can see here I forgot to add the enabling of the clothing so it's only disabling it's not enabling so that's probably why and if I've copied that over for the packages as well that's going to have the same issue or I might not have added it to the packages but it's only something that matters when you enter the dorms so it doesn't need to be on the packages or does it because when you're already in the dorms it needs to change with them so yeah um, arc vomp and then flip that over yeah, I haven't added it to the packages yet, so the setting of the outfits is done, but I'll have to add it into there. So it's kind of halfway there. So that should fix it. I'm also going to just check the nav mesh. That should actually be fine because I've redone it and it's quite nice now. So there shouldn't really be a problem with that. Not sure why there is. I think that just had a um, a one moment funny setup issue. And for some reason this complete arsehole, excuse my language, upstairs is just doing some stupid tapping and stuff and my voice is going a bit. So I am going to take a short break and I'll be back in about 15 minutes. So yeah. Okay then, I'm back with a bang. So, not entirely sure what else to do. I think I'm going to sort out that um, that package setup uh, to start with, if I can. It's just a little long-winded is all. Uh, so, what it is, is every time that you walk into this cell, you will have a sort of little update check thing run but if you're already in the cell 
and then somebody changes clothes it's not going to change unless you also have the same check on the package change so that's what we need to do so I'll copy the function to begin with put that across and we'll do the rest of it which is up here so it's kind of weird because the outfit check for entering the cell has to be a bit more long-winded than the actual packages because the packages have got a lot of it built in so I don't actually need too much of this uh, if the game value is not under there uh, means just have to figure out what part of this I actually need so that sets the outfit that sets the outfit so I only need enclose and lower so this is for um, when they're going to work so if it's work it needs to do that and then if it's chill it needs to do that and that should fix it well not so much fix it but set it up more than anything you'll notice my voice is back a little just needed a bit of a drink <laughs> um, that should do that but it's obviously going to fail because we don't have all of the properties we need which in this case is all of this not sure if I have actually fully explained the wardrobe I'll do that in a minute um, all these needed there's probably something missing it'll tell me what oh no first time um, yes pretty useful so I'm gonna have to autofill this on every single actor unfortunately which is a bit long-winded not mine <laughs> uh, I got phones going off beeps going off kids going off in the background blooming good god milks going off everything's going off this is ridiculous uh, let's see what we do is fill all these very difficult to concentrate you'll have like um while people are off doing their nine to five jobs at work you'll have utter bliss for the majority of the day but the problem is when you're sometimes a hardcore gamer is you're up the majority of the night when people are in bed so you don't get up until later on in the day and then pretty much soon after you've actually got your arse out of bed all the neighbours come back and your typical neighbours see that the sun's out and they'll mow the lawn and when the sun goes in your typical neighbours will make as much pointless noise as they can or if they're not doing any of that and they finally sit down they'll put their bloody soaps on at full volume because they're too deaf so you can't seem to win which is all good because I'll just whack my big gaming headset on most of the time but for a stream when you're trying to freaking concentrate and record it gets quite annoying so that should be set up and we could go in game and test it and hope the nav mesh thing doesn't happen again I'm not sure why that happened but I think what I'll do, I'll actually try and navigate the tower properly this time and start off in the lobby and go from there I'll actually sort of activate the portals and we'll have a wander around and see what's what see if there's anything specific we want to do hey, I don't think you missed much Sim Sim because I was away for a while so it's all good just um, if you didn't get the rant about neighbours and we've just set up some scripting for the outfits to hopefully work properly so yeah let's uh, save that and load up the game see what's what
Not seeing any messages disappear. It's just a matter of people catching them. At the minute, Sim Sim's just helping do a little bit of collision messing around because I haven't got things set up to do it myself. I need to sort of look in how it's done. Okay, here we go. Let's try this a different way, shall we? We'll go to the lobby to begin with. Here we go. There we go. Right, we're going to have as much lag this time. There we are. Whoa. Well, it runs smooth in here, but that's because there's, uh, there's enough all in here. So This portal's always active anyway. Um... And the library should be active. Dorm should not be active from here. This needs changing. I am really going to have to overlook the, the system for the portals. I really am because it's a bit, bit funky. It's quite confusing. Uh, but we will head to the library and have a wander around. All is looking good it's time. I think like um, blagging my way into different cells and waiting and doing other stuff kind of confused things back to the lobby so let's head to the apex Activate stuff in there first. Check the sort of mage portals fine as well because I've moved it and everything and changed a few things. That shouldn't be a problem. If it ever loads. the portal one down ah the other thing I need to check as well do these now work? oh they do I don't know about blowing stuff off the shelves so. uh -oh. ok that's made a bit of a mess I'll have to check that out but that's a lot better than it was before I had them all over the floor and everything. So that's, that's good. And the occlusion's still fine. No mannequins wandering about, I don't think. Just their scary shadow. Set everything red. Ah, so the um, the wardrobe here. What you'll see is uh, this needs changing a little bit because I've got two of the same thing hanging up. But you've got the standard robes there, some standard Corinthia tower robes there. What will happen is when you enter here, as the same as it does a check for the outfits, it's going to do a check for the wardrobe. And we actually looked at the script just earlier. You saw the slots and such. So this is like slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, slot 4. And it checks each slot. Now, slot one, you can have the standard robes, or if you're the Ar if you're the Archmage of Winterhold, of the College of Winterhold, those will be activated to be the Archmage robes. So it's actually got four stages. It's got a stage of it just being normal robes like this, but male or female, and then it's got Archmage robes, male or female. So it'll check your gender as well. And that'll happen every time you enter the cell. So it's going to make sure even if you have a sex change, for whatever reason you might do that, it'll update and it'll put the right stuff. So then you've got slot two, that's pretty simple, male or female. Slot three, 
that's either going to be the normal ebony armor male or female or it will be the ebony male armor if you've completed the quest and that will be male or female slot four again glass male or female so that's how that will work there's got to be some more stuff put up there these have to turn into unique storage options and of course you've got the uh, changing of the bed and an extra little chest there because i couldn't put it at the end of the bed anymore not enough room other thing i've not shown yet well that's weird there's more collision um <laughs> I don't know where the hell this collision's coming from. Honestly, this is ridiculous. You should be able to access that bloody box. And there's some nasty collision going on here. I don't know why. Got a lot of that. Uh, what I'll do instead... I shall cheat my way into the box. Uh, 7... 8A1. Now I've got a fly buzzing around me. Thank you. Activate that, that should work. Oh joy. Nothing wants to work. This is why it's called testing people. Right, basically in that box is something from what this mod is inspired by, which is Fro Frost Crag Spire, and next to the bed there was a little jewellery box, and inside there you had what was called the Pentamagic Loop, and it was just a little ring that gave you a load of cool effects, and I've pretty much just replicated a little ring in there called the same thing that does stuff and it's crashed wonderful uh, this is a little unstable this is why I've got to upgrade definitely got to upgrade this is just so unstable with the kit run at the same time but uh, yeah well check that over but yeah the wardrobe seemed to be working fine it also has to check that the wardrobe's enabled so that you've actually crafted it uh, before it goes changing the clothes I don't know what that collision issue was it's very strange so I will just go straight to the dorms because they should be in there to begin with around the 8 o'clock part Uh, would that system make it so you could have two of the ebony mail? Not sure what you mean. It's either just going to be ebony armor or the ebony mail, and it has to be the male or female armor. That's all it will do. You won't end up with duplicated versions on top of each other. It'll disable the ones that aren't necessary. Yeah, you'd have to like change the glass. The script would get way, way too confusing here they all are getting pissed which is a wonderful thing to do at eight o'clock in the morning so if we actually check the outfits the chill outfit should be disabled so it shouldn't actually matter which one of these we look at I don't know why I was so determined to just check the alchemy one but there we go I think that's working properly now again lighting these adjusting but the orc stuff, he's got the chill armor on, so we'll see what happens when he actually flicks to 9 o'clock rather than waiting around. And then I'll actually wait around and see if we can bug it out again, because I don't want it to bug out. Do not want that. There we go, so that's a chill outfit. We're just breaking into all their wardrobes. But, uh, like I said, these will be unlocked when, when the time is right anyway, and it's all scripted up. So. There we go. I really hope that this works fine because if it does then this is probably one of my most exciting and new features that I've ever made. What the f... f okay. I know what that is. That's one of the meshes being a bit wonky. It needs the skin part removed. That was weird. So if we wait around till 9 o'clock anyway. Hello. Yes? Did we actually set some merchant stuff up? I don't remember. I think yes. we did. But it's only between a certain time. I'm sure we set some merchant stuff up. I don't know if it was a forge guy or what. But that should also work. That'll be interesting. And the preferred paving should work. So we also want to see if they get a bed properly. Yeah. 
Yeah, what it'll do is when you enter the cell, it checks every single time, and it'll pretty much the way it works. It disables everything and then enables the right clothing items. Check inventory before signing the ebony to. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing like a whole if it's in your inventory thing. That would be too much trouble. What I'm doing is just standard show off display armor. So it it doesn't matter whether it's in your inventory or what, or if you've got stored somewhere else. It's it's just going to be for for show and just to show off that you've done a quest. So it's just put in the static version. That's not coming out of your inventory or anything. That'd be too that'd be too much hassle and it it could cause problems. It could end up bugging out easier that way. No, it's it's just like a display thing. A whole if you've done like the ebony armor quest, it'll show. Here we go. They all just changed their work outfits. The wardrobe should have changed with them. Which they have. I think. I've got to check them all. That pretty much happens so quick. It, it's, you don't even notice it. That's quite funny. But there we go. Now what I haven't figured out is the whole follower thing. I think if I'm going to make these follow, I'm going to have to set up my own follower system and not the standard follower system, working off the usual quests. And it's going to... Oh, it could be very awkward. Because what's going to have to happen is when you tell them to follow, it is going to need to remove the armour outfit from the wardrobe so it could get tricky or I might not have them as followers and that could just be an extra outfit to show to say that when they do go out and about outside or whatever that that's when that happens so I don't know what this knob's doing he's quick. kinda just standing there but yeah if we wait now I give him time to bugger off come on get to work get to work go on Just wasted a whole hour of potential reading. Pillock. Right. Library. Need something? Ah, there he is. Good map. Good work. Right. Now, if we try the lobby. Our Khajiit friend, who's always quite entertaining. He's working. He's cool. something. This, I'm not so sure about. This seems a bit too basic to me. I don't know whether to really do this up, add some more around this, and have it like a proper conjuration altar kind of thing. I think that's what I'm going to do on this piss poor little table. As cool as it is, I'm going to build up a proper full on altar with candles and everything. Maybe built around the shape of the actual thing. And then you'll do some dodgy ritualistic chant or something. And then things will summon in the middle. That'll probably be better. As for the lighting... Th I might make the lighting a lot more magical in here. More like blue flames and such. Because it's a conjuration room. It's meant to be funky. So... Yeah, see you, mate. Have a good evening. Or morning. Or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, evening. Um, yes. So, that's plans for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of figure out the design in here. Getting some new ideas. So, that's all working out. They don't seem to be bugging out much at the minute. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait around again. And I'm going to wait... Just about 11 p.m. I think. So I'm going to stop that nearly about there. No, 11. I was right, four hours. And um, what we want to do, we want to head over to the dorms now. He should have gone completely. Before we head to the dorms, we'll enter it and it should change the clothes. We've seen the packages change. They're not like they're not bugging out now. The only bugging out is this weird thing where it's like. Three of them get to sit down and then she gets confused and does a whole magical thing. But uh, that, that doesn't matter. And now they're back in their chill outfits. Their work outfits are back there. And that's working quite well. 
I'm really happy with that. That seems that seems to be working okay for the minute. Fingers crossed. So let's go to the lobby. And the mannequins! Nav mesh bugging. I haven't done the nav mesh, so they're just going to scare everybody to death. Uh, what we want to do now is, uh, that's it, I want to check the paving. I want them to go to bed. And I do not want them to walk through the middle of the frigging pool. I prefer paving around the edges. I know it works in exterior cells, but I'm not sure how well it works for interiors. So. Yes, it does sound nice for the altar. I think that'll be much better than the what I was planning. What the what the hell? See, so now everyone's just like slowly getting up. Will you look? Naf mesh is still a little funky around these these chairs. What I might have to do is get rid of a chair on each and have them as two chairs because I think they're getting stuck. This is freaky. They're all staring at me. Need something? Where did he go? Yes. Oh, he's gone to cook. That's nice. Something. That's awesome, actually. That, that's working well. See, so at the minute they they are completely bored. They're going to need some chairs around the outside and such, something they can do, sit on the side, read a book, do whatever. They're going to need some more idols because this is a really boring room right now. And he's thought that the yeah. best thing that he could possibly figure out to do at half past eleven in the evening yeah. is just stare at her sitting on a chair. So they're going to need a lot more to do. You want something from me? Need something from me? Oop. Come on. Come on, people. Bedtime nearly. Let's close their wardrobes now that we know that works. So. <laughs> this cooking pot is full. So, in here, it's mainly clutter. And we really need to make the place a little more interesting. I think we'll do that. I think we'll get some seating sorted. The main thing will be the fireplace. That's where they'll want to sit and have, have some enjoyment. And it's bedtime and they don't know what to do. Or they're all getting confused because they're too close together. We'll see what they do. They're kind of getting stuck. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Go to bed. That's it. Slowly make your way. Where's he going? No, it's bedtime, not cooking time. Jesus Christ. I bet the packages are in the wrong order again now. Bedtime, people. Going to have to check the packages now. Yeah, I think the mannequin statuey thing was a one-time bug. It happens very rarely sometimes. This is an issue with the sleeping. Oh, what a knob. Of course, I've got the beds initially disabled. Oh, God's sake. N never mind. That explains that. That is why they are absolutely confused out of their minds. It took them a while to realise there's nowhere to sleep, so they've got to... Oh, frick it. Okay, then. That mostly seems to be working, which is good. So... That is, uh, that is very good to know. Majority of you working. So what we want now, we need to do some sort of seating here. I don't know if I know I've meshed here. I think I've missed a gap. Yeah, I've left a gap for now because I know I'm going to fill it in. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out some seating. So maybe some noble benches put up against there or something. I'm actually thinking looking into a sofa from Insanity, but I don't know if it'd look a bit law-breaking or not. So we'll have a look. I mean, you're always going to break the law somewhere with a mod this size. You can't really help it, but where I can, I'm going to try and 
stick with it. So um, we need. Whoa, sofa, the chairs and stuff. See, these could be interesting. I think they look a bit too modern, to be honest. That's the problem. But I don't know. Do you guys think this is a bit too modern? Or do you think that wouldn't be so bad? Uh, let's see what they look like in-game. I can delete them anyway. Sofa. It's technically sofa two. I selected. Let's try that. They are absolutely awesome. It's just whether they fit into the game, really. I don't think they do, which is a bummer. In fact, they don't actually have any furniture markers. So they've got to be static and then put my own furniture markers on them. So I've done that wrong anyway. Yeah, too modern. I thought so. They're really, really well done, but they just don't really fit with the game. So sod them. I'll build something up instead. Um, facts. Two emails. So I think. Let's go with the original bench idea. Let's just look if we can build something into this. I don't want to sit on that. Um, See, these are a bit solid, so we're going to want to do something with them. Um, just a standard. And some actual chairs would be nice. Oh, uh, no, 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 what is it? What's that going to be called? I have a wicked idea. Uh Oh no, of course, that's how they'll have done it. That weird pool that you get in the actual game, it's like the steam pools, whatever they want to call it. People like lying on the floor with their arms crossed and such. Uh, these would actually be them lying on their back. So I don't know what the furniture is for those steam pools, but they're like kick back relaxing. I don't know if that was actually a mod or if it was in the game. I thought it was an egg in the game. But that would be really awesome. If there was like a map that they could lie in front of the fire, that'd be awesome. I'm probably not going to find it. What is that? Creature sit marker. Uh, DLC. And if anyone knows, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Dragon water. Oh, that's bad. The furniture. That looks interesting. Um, what else? Hide markers. Huh? I've never really had a damn good look around the furniture markers before, to be fair. Lay down marker. Is that going to be it? I wonder if we can actually find the animation for that. Lay down. Is laid out. That's bloody helpful. 
<clears throat> I am going to see what that does. I'm going to test it. That looks very much like what it could possibly be. I am going to... Have I put Barney Blue in here yet? No. Um, okay. Let's just really freak the player out for a bit. Let's put the player in it. Here's a good way of linking something onto a marker that's not actually on nav mesh or just onto any general marker to get them to just use that when they haven't got any AI packages. You link reference them to it. Save that. See how that works. That'll be interesting. Uh, what else? This needs building, so... That just doesn't look comfortable. We need something on there. Something Eleonora actually did in Mershkum I quite liked. She used like the drapes as actual cushions. Which was nice. So I'm going to steal her idea. I'm sure she won't mind. Uh, these should do. If I don't have them look like the actual drapes that should be fine. going to get me banned now because I've stole her idea. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, I gave her a beta version of the, um, the, the new chicken mesh. So. Pretty even. Uh, that looks crap. <laughs> It looked good when Ellie did it. Uh, that just looks terrible. I don't know if I can string some together. It's probably just going to look absolutely awful. Um, hmm. Well, scrub that idea. Nope. Uh, I wanted it kind of Dwemer. But not. So what if I try this? Oh! Uh, that might be an idea. That might be an idea. How much of that is actually uh, changeable? Hey Wheeze, how's it going? Uh, does this have any pillows to use as cushions? Could use pillows I suppose. I've got an idea here, I'll try this. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is looking promising. People are probably wondering what the hell I'm actually trying to do. There we go. You shall see. Um, shouldn't need them bits. That I definitely want to keep. That I definitely want to keep. This might be the next tutorial that I do. Is just on texture sets and stuff. Because it's something I've never properly done in a tutorial. So. Now I'm planning on doing all my new ones. Oh damn. This looks awful. Let's let's go with it. Let's null that. Null that. What? What is that? Okay. 
think they're using this as um, a bench, but embed half of it in. But I think it's going to look terrible. So instead, let's figure out what that cover was again. Let's just null everything for the minute. I could probably do a proper mesh of this. And null everything and just see what it's going to look like. Instead. Ta -da. I've probably done that completely wrong. Hold on. I'll do that as a static if it works, or just do this as a separate mesh and then do it. Uh, but CT furniture test covers covers doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, create new. Colors. See what that looks like. I'm thinking he's putting it along, and then using these as covers, sort of thing. So. work quite nicely <clears throat> throat is slowly going again so if I actually go over the whole Dwemer bench idea now and I know which ones I'm after if I can find them Put these in or something I get them the right way, and I would put that in there like this. Doesn't matter if they embed in a little bit. Shouldn't be a problem because they're sitting a bit more forward anyway, and then build up like the sides here uh, with something, maybe mini versions of the column that I've got a unique version of. I use these far too much. Um, 4.5. Try that. It doesn't matter about the seating arrangement, I can just make all this stuff static if if this looks okay. And we can sort it out from there. I want to like a really cool seating arrangement. <laughs> you know what? That's nice. I like that. That that's actually nice. That's pretty good. Thoughts on that? Does that look stupid or I quite like that? The only thing I think is a bit weird is the fact that the portal's right behind them. So somebody can probably like portal in and then just whack them on the back of the head. There you go. And then what we'd have here is like um, a little rug that they'd sit on. Whoa, don't delete it. Let's go with the nice ish rug. <laughs> I wonder what happens when the NPCs try and use this furniture. Um, save that. I was going to set ownership, but it's probably going to confuse things. That should be okay. 
Uh, yeah. All right, you'll have to excuse me for a moment and I will be right back. Okay, so we're going to load up Skyrim and see how that goes. Yeah, the collision will still be there. But I'll I'll do some fiddling. Yeah, the columns should hide any. Well, the bed's not going to be there. Uh, I'll put the the pillars in. Well, yeah, actually, the bed is going to be there. Of course, it is. So if I put the bed but a static version, and then hide like the, have the markers off it, hide everything but like that brownie crap, and then <laughs> I will. Then build everything else up should the columns all cover any collision from the bed. Basically. And it should be okay. So let's see if the uh see if the dragonborn's chilling on that mat. Or if it's completely messed up. You really need to fix that coal. <laughs> no, it'll go for be another day or so. I'm kind of jumping back into action before it's completely gone. But I'm not messing around for another four fucking days. Uh, I didn't realise it sounded like I had a cold that much. I know I did early when my voice went. It is going again a bit. So here we go. So I've done the sensible thing and gone to the complete wrong location. So we'll go to the dorms. So like I'm typing with one hand, I've got the controller in one hand and typing with the other. So the Dragonborn, the player, has took it upon himself to stand there like a lemon. Whoa, what? He has a voice? Oh, this is fun. Hold on. Let's have a look. What are we doing? What the fuck? I can't hear nothing. Hey, cheese you, what? Hey, troll me. Are you kidding? Hey, cheese brain. Fucking cheese brain me. You meant to be on the bloody mat? That can't be activated. They won't use it because it's not nav mesh. It's probably because it's just not nav mesh. But anyway. Let's just see what the collision's like here. It should be okay. Getting a bit of overlap textures there where that can be sorted. Yeah, the collision for the most part is absolutely fine. I think. There's no problem there. So that actually passes for a, for a fairly comfortable sofa. If there's a way I could sit just to try it. I could just about see it there. There we go. That actually looks really awesome, to be honest. I quite like that. I could maybe make the the sort of um, side bits 
work quite nice. The Dragonborn is a dick. <laughs> he is, you know, he's a what a horrible person. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to make these uh, tables. Lower them down, put wood on the top, and make them tables. That'd be awesome. But it still feels a little empty, so I don't know. We need some decor around the fireplace, something fancy. I was going to say plants, but <laughs> they'd burn. Uh, yeah. This guy is just not impressing me. Um, the mighty dragonborn is now dead. So, if you don't want to lie on the mat, I'll have to freaking make you lie on the mat, but you don't seem to be draggable. Here we go. Come on. Play ball. I've got to be honest, the Dragonborn is very heavy. Very, very heavy. Flipping heck. Maybe it's the armour. What? Yeah, it's probably the armour. Okay, let's pick him up. Oh my god. He weighs a ton. What the hell? <laughs> You look so peaceful. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. These are all just staring at me like, what the hell are you doing? Um, but, but that kind of works. So. Quite funny. Um. So yeah, I'll lower these down. I'll probably make them tables, I think. Look at the markers. That is a mess. It's sitting there. You probably want it about there, maybe. Or there. That'd be a bit better. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this furniture, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to make a static version of it. Bench, ow. Uh, bench material brown. Caught my hand on the, the bloody... Uh, so, firm meshes open. Uh, no. We need this. That's what we want. There you go. So we take that and nullify everything but the brown again. Another thing would be fun is suggestions for eggs. I've got one or two ideas already for eggs in the tower. And what I'd like to do is actually have an egg counter. So every time that you discover an egg, you get a counter. And maybe you get a reward after you find all the eggs. And I'd actually like to invite people to figure out all of the eggs. And then if somebody does figure them all out, like I say, they get some kind of reward. That would be really awesome. So, if people could like come and post on the forum section of the mod page when the mod's released and post when they've found eggs and stuff, and each egg can do something really cool. But egg suggestions would be really awesome. I think that's something that could be quite fun. Bench material brown, okay, that's better. Bench material brown.
And these are overlapping just slightly, so if I just like raise the middle one up a little, or down, just m tweak it very slightly, it should just stop that. There we go. I think that really blends quite nicely. It's quite surprising. And then what we've got is each of these benches. I probably don't want to try and fit six people on there. That's going to be a bit of a squeeze. So I might want static benches as well. And then I'll just put invisible markers on the top. That there, and then I'm going to want to replace them with CT bench static. Probably should have selected them both there, but never mind. Bench static, and that's that. And then we'll just put like invisible furniture on. completely messed that up. Um, want them to be player as well so that you can use them. Don't really want a triple, I want a double. So yeah, they need to be usable. That's it, you can see the green on there. Should mean that the player can use them quite happily. Or I could do individual ones and spread three across evenly. That might be better. There we go. And there's those embers I've just remembered I've got to fix. It only took me about an hour to remember, but there you go. Um, that's better. And I'll just adjust them slightly. Let's sink their asses into there a bit, put their feet into the ground. There we go. That should do nicely. That wasn't working because of nav mesh, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to nav mesh here. And somebody mentioned a nav mesh tutorial. I will, unfortunately, be doing a nav mesh tutorial. A proper new one, up to date. Because it's such an exciting topic. Um, I mean, it's it's one of the most exciting parts of the creation kit, honestly, is putting all of these vertices together to make these unbelievably pretty triangles, which are just absolutely stunning. And it's a shame you can't see them in game, because it's so awesome. I mean. I just wish I could spend more time sitting here moving these little dots around the screen really. There we go. And oh no, where's it gone? You've hidden yourself from me. Uh, I always get this wrong. There we go, invert flooded. I keep selecting that recently. I'll get it wrong as to which one it is. Preferred paving. It's over here, isn't it? There we go. Do that. Then try and resize my render window. For some reason, it's the only window that lags to hell. I'm trying to place it. There we are. So that's better. Uh, the wood's going to be a bit more tricky. Have I made an actual unique version of this? No. Probably going to have to do that. And two C to
No, if you want, you can swim with the mysteries that need more collision. Yeah, it's a good idea, SimSim. Uh, what is it, just the floor? You'll have to remind me of it. was like them circular floor pieces and um, something else, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's coming along this is I've got now I'm going to save this because this is what I mentioned about the apex early when I go back in sometimes it's a knob and it crashes I did guarantee that the creation kit would crash once tonight and it hasn't yet the game's done it instead so don't know if that counts uh, let's go with this in the friggin middle Another point is you have um, have a nav mesh up here. The only reason I really need to nav mesh up here is when your followers come up because the uh, the recruit shouldn't be found up here. And I, I really do need to make some wooden column versions. I'm going to show you something odd. If I put my wood texture on the top of here where I want it if I can figure out which one it is probably the last one I'll select, no there we go if I put my wood texture on here like I want it, I've already got it as a texture set it ends up being bright and I th think it's to do with the vertice, uh, sorry vertex colors being on but even if I take this mesh, turn off vertex colors and don't change the texture in NIF scope load it up, put that on it's still that colour. Now, furthermore, weird thing, uh, Dungeons Dwemer Clutter, let's go in there. We go Dungeons Dwemer Clutter. Oh crap. Um, where's this going to be? Let's see if I can spot it. Not gonna see it. No, that's not it. It's one of these. End cap. No, it's an end post. It's an end post. There we go. So if I take this and then just go ahead, put my texture on, it seems to be the only texture. For some reason that I have. That NIF scope has took a complete disliking to and it doesn't show it, but it will work. I think about it in research, it's probably a logical reason why it's doing it, but it's kind of weird because it's picking everything else up. Very strange though. Just some other changes I'm going to go ahead and do to this. Uh, take off the environmental map, change this out for a sort of design. Dwemer design. Ah, I didn't want the environmental off on there. I've done it on the wrong one. Oh, so I need to put that back. Oh, what a knob. Turn that back on. It needs to be for this one. I need to turn it off. Oh, it's not on. Oh, okay. Um, instead, change this for Dwemer design. There we go. Oh! 
you know what? It is seriously getting late. Doing completely the wrong one. This is going to make sense in a minute. That's what I don't want on there. Should all be good. Take off vertex colors on both of them. And this is going to be the wood. There you go, I'll have wood design on the side there. That should be okay. And I'll have to save that in structure. Misc. Um, I'll just put column O one. And there we go. Make sure I make a new version. And then we'll go back to the dorms. I'll check the chat in a minute as well. And I actually need to just replace both of those with the wooden versions. And that's kind of like having a, a little table each side, in a sense, I think they're too low down. That's better. And yeah, and the other one the collision for the Dwemer button. Yeah, I'll check the strong box in a minute. <laughs> I must have the memory of a fish. I cannot remember the drum button thing. Oh yes, the drum button. I've got it, yeah. Oh no. Uh, that's going to be just like the whole what you did for the, the dorms thing oh Jesus uh, there's a collision issue uh, yeah. um, weird okay let's check save it again let's go back to the apex let's check on that issue with the strong box see if we can find out what's wrong something here it's not that oh truly oh truly um i think it's just the general i think the collision on this entire piece is a little further out from the wall than you think it is well that's just bloody ridiculous Well, this is the actual whole piece that has that button on. As you can see here, there's the collision for the button that sits on the on the side here. That's what needs to go. Uh, that needs to be sodded off. That whole lump, in fact, the entire lump there that is nullified. It's it's the gold basically. That's usually gold. That that's what has to be removed from the mesh. And then the collision redone. So it's this mesh. And I'll just check how many times this is used. Should only be once. Yep, yeah, there's only one count of it, so it is C T structure interior main. Oh my life. Um
Oh. Damn you, caps lock. Let's put collision meshes. That's one. The other is going to be the flooring. So this is ZT interior wooden floor. There's actually two of these. But you'll probably obviously do the collision for one then just copy that branch to the other one, I imagine. Um, there's a left and a right to get the texture to match up, uh, match up even due to the, the way the UV map works and the texture isn't seamless. So that's why there's a left and right version. And that should be it. That should be absolutely fine. That that might solve the strong box thing if the collision can be improved on it. But if not, no worries. That can just be moved. Hide the collision. And that's pretty cool. Solve that. And I think all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in game. I'm just going to see if this whole lying down thing actually does work. Because I am interested to see what that marker is. And I want to see the bench work nicely now. Or the sofa. It's more of a, a custom built sofa. So. Now then. That's it, as I say. Uh, I think we'll actually close the creation kit. Load up the game. See what's what. Oh, I could have enabled the beds and see if they go to bed, but I'm pretty sure that's all going to work now. I'll try the preferred pain another time. I'm going to have to get most of the crafting system set up actually for the next stream. That would be really good to show people everything or most of the tower being crafted and also it being in the ruins to begin with. So yeah. Now. Uh, we want to just go straight to the dorms. Oh, you stupid dragonborn. Obviously, that lay down marker isn't the thing. I'm going to have to find out that because I swear there is a specific animation where they can sort of kick back and they look like they're relaxing, and that would be awesome on the map, but I don't know. I don't actually know if I want that now. It would probably look a bit funny if there's like two of them sat down staring at one person on the floor half naked or something. That's going to be freaky. But I was just interested to see if that worked. So, that is looking like it. Let's just see if this sofa's okay. I can't sit on the sofa, so obviously those need changing. It's weird, it's like a player set sofa, but it's not actually selectable by the player. It's ridiculous. I'll have to figure those out. But that is all good. Mostly. So what we've got the outfits going and everything which is really cool. Quite a lot of stuff does actually work. And I think I'm going to end this stream there. So um, we've got a fair bit done. Gone through a few things. Got the occlusion which is really good. And uh, that's it. So I hope you like the new intro. I'm also going to roll the new outro as well uh, please check out my channel update if you haven't already that like just covers what i am planning for the channel i've got new tutorials coming i've got more twitch streams coming i'm going to keep that going as you can see i've also got that new mod out frost mammoth so go and check that out it's a pretty simple mod but pretty nice thing to have in skyrim 
mostly post on Facebook. I don't post so much on the other social media, but you can follow me anyway, and things mostly get automatically uh, put up on there anyway. You can check out my main website, as you can see there, www.darkfox127.co.uk. That's where I'll also be posting some new images of the tower once I've got a few things polished off a bit more. And um, if you're watching this after the stream, please leave comments below. Let me know what you think on a number of things that I've been mentioning and been working on. I'd love to hear people's feedback. It's always helpful, especially on the new Mage Quarters as well. And hit that like and subscribe button afterwards on YouTube if you haven't already. And if you're not following me on Twitch, then if you like what you saw tonight, feel free to. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. <laughs> Made me out of breath anyway. So, uh, yep. Thanks everyone who has joined me live. Thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you all next time.